to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's figure out the difference between reflection, refraction, and diffraction. All these objects have in common. They're all examples of the reflection of light. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the difference between specular reflection and diffuse reflection. Not all objects reflect light the same way. So let's take a look at a difference between specular reflection and diffuse reflection. Specular reflection reflects all light which arrives from a given direction at the same angle, where diffuse reflection reflects light in many different directions. I'll show you the difference between these two by using a shiny object like this mirror and a dull object like this plastic. Up first, let's reflect light from a mirror which is very shiny. It will be an example of specular reflection. Notice that the ray always reflects at the same angle. Next, I have a dull object. Notice how the reflection always looks the same regardless of the angle. This is an example of diffuse reflection. During diffuse reflection, remember the light is scattered in many different directions. With specular reflection, the law of reflection states that the angle of reflection of a ray equals the angle of incidence. So let's identify a couple of items. Here's the ray of incidence. Here's the ray of reflection. And a line perpendicular to the surface is called the normal line. And again, it's perpendicular to the point where the light rays strike the surface. Also notice that at different angles, you can see that the incident and reflection are equal. And you can measure these from the line of normal. Normal is at zero and the angle is at 30 degrees for both incidence and reflection. Here's another example. Normal is zero, and incident and reflection are at 45. This rainbow and sunset are a result of refraction and diffraction. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Refraction is the bending of a wave when it enters a medium where its speed is different. For example, when this light enters this solid, you can see how it is slows down and bends. Next, I have liquid. First, I shine the light without the water inside. I mark it with my ruler, and now when I add water, notice how the light bends. It slows down and bends. Now, diffraction it is the bending of light as it passes around the edge of an object or through an opening. The amount of the bending depends on the size of the opening. What I did was I wanted to try to create a very small opening, so I got two razors and put them very close together and shone this laser through it. Now here it is with the lights on, and now you can see how dramatic it is when I turn the lights off. Now, if you'd like to know what is happening, as the light wave passes through the slit, here's what happens. It creates waves, and you see them in this pattern. So in summary, refraction and diffraction is the bending of light due to either slowing down or going around an object. 